Here's a question for you. Which investment will yield a greater return over 10 years? 7.3% compounded quarterly or 7.4% compounded annually? What would you say? Now, 7.3%, that is a lower interest rate compared to 7.4%. So you might be inclined to think that this is gonna be higher. Now, compounded quarterly, that means that you're gonna receive your interest payments four times in a year. Compounded annually, you're gonna receive your interest payments once per year. Now, because you're gonna receive your interest payments earlier when it's compounded quarterly, you can have the potential of having interest upon interest. So typically, when N is higher, that leads to a greater return. But is it enough such that this will be higher than that? Let's find out. Let's assume our initial investment is 1000 And let's calculate the accumulated value for each situation. So we could use this formula. A, the final value or the accumulated value is equal to our principal or our initial investment times 1 plus R over N raised to the n times t. So the principle that we're starting with is a thousand. R is the interest rate as a decimal. So 7.3%, if we convert that to a decimal, if we divide it by a hundred, that's going to be 0 0.073. n is four for the first situation. And we're analyzing the investment over a time period of 10 years. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So this is going to be $2,061.47. So that's rounded to the nearest cent. Now for the second situation, we're going to have the same initial investment of 1000 R is going to be 0 0.074 instead of 0 0.073. It's compounded annually, so n is going to be 1. And this is nt, or 1 times 10. So this is going to be 2041 dollars and 94 cents around a 10 cent. So 2061 is higher than 2041 by a difference of 20 bucks approximately. So notice that even though we have a lower interest rate, we still receive a higher rate of return because N is higher. It's compounded quarterly instead of compounded annually. So in this case, 7.3% compounded quarterly will yield a greater return over 10 years versus 7.4% compounded annually. So here are some factors that will increase the rate of return. Number one, increase in the interest rate. If you increase the interest rate, the rate of return, or in other words, your final value is going to go up. If you increase the number of interest payments that you receive per year, in other words, if you increase your end value, that will also increase your rate of return. The last thing you can increase is T, how long your investment is working for you, the time. As some people say, patience pays. So if you increase the time in which your investment is earning interest, your cumulative value is going to be higher. So increase in any one of these things, R, N, or T, that's going to increase your final value. And will also increase your rate of return. So that's basically it for this video. So if you ever get a question like this in your homework, all you need to do is use this formula.